Hi everyone, welcome to Skin School. Today with my dear friend Athena, who is um, a super master for everything well-being. Um, we want to talk about everything skin, anti-aging, um, diet, um, and feeling cozy at home. So welcome Athena, thank you for joining us today. I'm super, super happy to see you. Hi Barbara, Hi. how are you? Good, good to see you, you look beautiful. Thank and you. What, so do what you. are these plants? Is this like, what else is in English? These are cherry blossoms, which are kind of bursting everywhere in New York right now. All the trees, like it's kind of amazing the way they kind of seem to bloom overnight. Like one day they look like bare dead trees and then all of a sudden they're alive. So it's such like a, I don't know. It's so quintessential New York to me that they start blooming right around this time. So I love to bring them inside my home. Cherries are very anti-inflammatory, by the way. Really? Yes, they're really pointed out to be very anti-inflammatory. So New York is going into the anti-inflammation mode. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> I know that an anti-inflammatory diet is like really at the core of your belief and how you live your life and eat and well-being. Um, I don't know that much about, I mean, I know, obviously I, I cook such clean, healthy, seasonal food, but I don't know that much about which foods are most anti-inflammatory. So it's, um, you know, first of all, it's an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. It's not just the food. It's basically, um, how we sleep, how we de-stress, what food we are eating, you know, um, what skincare we put on our skin, what skincare we not don't put on our skin, you know, I yes. think it's also very important. Then the stresses from outside, like pollution, sun, the HEV light coming from the phones. So we have to think about all these things constantly and adjust our lifestyle to it. And it's not just in food, but if we look at food, um, I think we all know, you know, if we eat processed meat these days, they're full of antibiotics and hormones. That's not a good food for us to, to have or dairy, same, same situation, but also sugar, sodas, um, fried food. This is not um, what I, our diet should look like. But, you know, when we think about what we should eat, plant-based plant diet, um, green leafy vegetables, super um, anti-inflammatory olives, um, cherries, oranges, um, um, salmon, mackerel, um, you know, almonds, walnuts, they're mostly super anti-inflammatory, but Harvard brought out a study which tells you exactly what is anti-inflammatory. Everybody knows turmeric is an anti-inflammatory, right. ginger, um, great herbs can, can help, rosemary, sage, things like coming from the Mediterranean diet, but you know, every country um, teaches us, um, you know, good ingredients to cook with. I, I know you're a very good chef. And um, for sure, I, I would think um, your diet is very inflammatory. Yeah, I think I think people ask me all the time what the style of food I cook is. And it's definitely based in Mediterranean flavors. Yes. And yeah, everything that you were just sharing is definitely part of the ingredients that I eat and cook with often. So yeah. Yeah, the people in Italy, by the way, Sardinia and also Positano, they, they live a long life, you know, and their diet is very, very interesting. Okay, they also eat pasta and pizza, where we think it's maybe not, not so good, but they also, you know, Positano, for example, they, they're walking stairs all day long, you know, yeah. like an 80-year-old walking 2,000 stairs to his home because he can't get there any other way with his groceries. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing how they live and how old they get. Yeah, it's so true. It is interesting how like your surroundings and your environment definitely changes, you know, how mobile you are as you age. Because I even, I mean, I know that New York is not the healthiest place for the elderly, elderly to live, but I do think that people in New York City are more agile almost because they just because have to walk all day, no? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's interesting. And, you know, like, you know, perhaps like my family members or people that grow up in the suburbs are almost more reliant on like driving in their car. You know, I think that there's a lot of of things that come into play, but it is interesting how your environment kind of shapes how you age. Absolutely. Um, I think, yeah, and that's mindset we have to adapt. So trying to get our workout in, trying to get, you know, a good night's sleep. It's so um, it's so crucial for our immune system and our inflammation level to get these eight hours of sleep every night and yeah. um, you know if we have like a late big meal our sleep is already disturbed or everybody knows if you drink like red wine or 
wine in general, you wake up at night and you can't sleep. And it's like, you know, everything which disturbs our sleep is um, really to be avoided. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, never drink wine or, you know, I think everything in moderation. Um, yeah. but, but in general, to focus on, on, on a lifestyle which gives, takes you away from inflammation. And maybe because of your question very quickly on inflammation, inflammation is really all around us. And inflammation um, can be visible um, if your joint, for example, um, blows up, you know, you have an injury and, you know, it's red and swollen and, and hurts, that is a sign of inflammation. But we also have something in our body called silent inflammation. Silent inflammation, we don't know. We know, don't know about it because it's, it's something which goes on. It's an immune response, which to a certain degree is also needed. But, you know, if inflammation takes over, um, we get the danger of getting um, chronic diseases, um, tissue undergoing, and also it goes together with aging. So everything yeah. aging goes together with inflammation. So inflammation is something we really should get under control and how we can do it in our daily life. It's very easy and doesn't cost anything. You know, it's just really get your sleep, try to distress, try to sometimes disconnect from, 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 from the news, you know, maybe read a book instead, try to do a meditation, um, mm. have a plant-based diet, which is cheaper than getting meat all day. You know, it's like, so, true. so just adapting to it can boost your immune system and help you to maintain a healthy system. How does inflammation affect your skin specifically? I'm just, cause you just said stress. And um, I mean, I don't think that I'm incredibly stressed right now, but I have this weird rash that's like right on my chest and very localized. I have no idea where it came from. And I was just, I was kind of thinking the past couple of days, if it is related to stress. And I'm so curious if you have thoughts on that. So stress is, um, you know, is connected to um, a hormone called cortisol and it rises in our blood system and that can cause all kinds of problems, not just with our skin, but also with our system. And with our skin, stress can cause acne breakouts, you know, mm -hmm. eczema, any kind of rashes. And that is also going together with inflammation. So basically everything we see on our skin, um, you can, you know, be assured, um, you know, is connected to inflammation. And inflammation can be caused by stress, can be caused by, yeah, too little sleep. You would see on your skin if you don't sleep well. You know, people say, yeah. oh, did you not sleep okay? Yeah, so you get those, um, you know, on your skin. Hormones, an imbalance of hormones can be seen on your skin. Um, you know, too much sun can be seen on your skin. Too much pollution can be seen on your skin in form of breakouts. Wearing masks can be formed. Um, can cause inflammation, disruption of your skin barrier, but also using certain skincare ingredients like mineral oils, fragrances, acid peels, glycolic retin-A, all those ingredients can cause inflammation or certainly cause inflammation in our skin, which you see in, in redness, irritation, causing sensitivity and, 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 and pain on our skin. You know, some people think, oh, if it doesn't hurt, tingle or burn, it doesn't do anything to my skin. It's wrong. It's actually the opposite. You know, if it burns and tingles and, and, and hurts, stay away from it because it causes inflammation. Inflammation causes premature aging, you know? So yeah. I think, you know, we really need to detect the sources of inflammation, try to stay away from it as much as we can. Yeah. So I... As you know, I have been the biggest fan of your products and have been using them pretty much exclusively for the past, I don't know, when did we meet? Was it maybe four or five years ago? ago? Yeah. I think about four or five years ago, but um, I didn't wear any we makeup. I don't understand. Today. I feel like I sent everything and I'm very proud of especially um, women or people like you um, stick to something because they love it and they know it's working instead of, uh, oh, today I'm doing this, tomorrow I'm doing this and then promote this. So you're very authentic. And I think, you know, and I personally, you know, in Germany, lots of my friends, they love you because, because you're just so authentic and real. Thank and, you, Barbara. You know, Thank only you. go for the thing. Yep. Yeah, but that's really what, um, makes us also be, be hurt, you know, because we're not today is this, okay, tomorrow is that okay. So it's like, we're always very straightforward. So I'm, um, I'm very happy you, you're still liking the products after so many years. I absolutely love it. And I think it's so important to be honest and share, you know, what you use. Like I'm, I'm a no, no fuss kind of skincare girl. Like I'm not somebody that like loves to dive into and research and try new products. When something works for me, I continuously use it. And, um, 
you know, I am 46 years old and I, I'm really proud of my skin and I haven't messed with my skin. I haven't gotten a ton of like lasers or, you know, I've, I use your products. I do your facials. Um, so I do think that I'm like a pretty good candidate for kind of what, what your products tend to do for the skin. But I do feel like at 46 years old, I'm starting to see even like, you know, I shoot a lot of videos for my work and I'm even starting to notice, and it's subtle of course, but like over here sometimes feels like when I laugh and stuff, like it's sagging. So what, what do you, what would you say for somebody in their forties? Who's like both body, skin, hormones, like I'm going through a lot of changes. Like, mm -hmm. what do you feel as though are the most important things that I should be cognizant of and using on my skin? Um, yeah. So what's happening when we, you know, when we age, you know, our functions, you know, you know, diminish and, you know, regarding our skin, first mm -hmm. of all, our skin follows gravity, you know, and depending on, you know, also what sports we do, if you run every day, et cetera, you know, or jump on the trampoline, like things <laughs> like this, you know, that is not the best thing to do, but, um, you know, skin follows gravity, 100% um, agreed on that. Then what's happening that our skin gets drier, the older we get and that's not a good thing and you know this happens because you know when we look at the child a child never gets dry skin because the conjunctions between the cells are very 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 close together so it's a very tight um woven um situation mm -hmm. whereas when we age you know the cells are just all over the place and that's why we have indentations wrinkles you know water can give the skin which is called transepidermal water loss so what we need to do we need to make sure our skin um, so stay this tight and that we can um, help with um, hydration. For example, a hyaluronic acid serum every day is important because it helps to um, make those skin cells tight and to support skin barrier functions. Yeah, it's clinically yeah. and um, scientifically proven to do so. Um, and also it brings hydration to all different cell um, skin layers in order also to hydrate our collagen, elastin, um, things we don't want to crumble like an old rubber band because we want to have this juicy firm skin um, yeah. we used to have so it's really mandatory to see the skin as this young construct we don't want to destroy that's why it's also important to not go for crazy anti-aging ingredients like retin-a for example which right. you know basically destroys the natural skin structure we need to see our skin as the largest organ and what we put on our skin should be seen as medication doing healing to the skin instead of um, destroying the skin. So we want to keep that, you know, cell tightness as good as possible. So when we age, our growth factors get lower, you know, and um, they can't get lower, um, which help, doesn't help because the cells get all over the place because the growth factors are something which keeps it tight. That's yeah. one thing. Um, then obviously, um, you know, this is something we need to look into how to you know, get that going. One thing is doing a really nice massage, you know, mm. not too crazy, but gentle massaging or using these and machines upward. like rollers, like this kind of stuff, because yeah. it really promotes our our um, skin cells to produce collagen. Um, if we go for ingredient science, you know, our good C, for example, is a really great supporter for collagen, helps to um, grow collagen, helps to catch free radicals, but this, which is another um, reason for aging. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, catching free radicals, trying to stay out of the sun, doing light massages. Um, we are launching a new product in two months, which um, brings back the growth factors and exosome. It's a new thing um, which is coming to our spas and stores, which you will love, especially for mature skin. But also, um, you know, for mature skin, we just launched our super anti aging cream, and that yeah. is a 360. I don't know, do you have it? I have it. I just, I just received it. I've only used it a few times. Oh, okay. So that is a 360 um, skin renewal thing because mostly skin moisturizers are very limited to, to, to what they can do. And we have ingredients in it, which um, supports cell functions, number one. So um, it's telomerase activation, which I talk about a lot and um, to prevent cells from dying and making cells strong and tight. Um, there's um, an ingredient, another ingredient. So is um, the stored root in a high concentration, which makes sure, for example, the epiderms and dermis, they are connected, you know, and they're when we're young, they're very closely connected. 
And because in the epidermis, there are no blood vessels, all the nutrients come from our skin care, but also from the, from the dermis via diffusion, yeah? And when this becomes spacey, the diffusion is less. So our epidermis is not really um, delivered nutrients to so, so well. So what we do with this cream, we, we, we totally connect them. And, you know, the way we um, formulate the base cream is like a second skin. So when you put it on, it really goes right into your skin, although it's very rich, yeah, but it mm -hmm. really connects and becomes a second skin on your skin. So this is something totally revolutionary, um, the Supenta Aging Cream. Also, the Supenta Aging Serum, you know, to prevent from, from, from aging in that way that we can, like, you know, keep our skin hydrated and, and, and close cells close together. But um, that's pretty much what we can do. Hormones obviously play a role. You know, this is something we need to talk to our um, hormonal specialists to how to substitute um, hormones. How do we can, how can we come back from that level of um, aging? Yeah. So you mentioned um, the super anti-aging serum and I always get like a little tripped up about should I be using the hyaluronic and the super anti-aging? Should it be one or the other? Should I alternate it? So like, what's your dream kind of advice on, you know, how you should use the serums? Can they be layered? So first of all, it can be layered, but the um, hyaluronic serum and the super anti-aging serum are very um, similar from the hydration part, but the super anti-aging serum is packed with anti-aging ingredients. So you basically can replace your hyaluronic serum with your super anti-aging serum because it's okay. basically the hyaluronic serum plus, yeah? Okay. So you, do, you don't have to do the hyaluronic serum. And then what I would um, definitely add for the night is the night serum. Do you use that, the night I serum? Do. And that's really great. And there's also something um, for anti-aging because it has ingredients to fill in fine lines and wrinkles. And mm -hmm. also it um, restores, it helps to restore everything, collagen grow, repair from the UV light, et cetera, um, to help strengthen skin barrier function, the cell tightness, um, overnight. So the night serum, what, that's what I use, Supenta Aging Serum, night serum, and my Supenta Aging Cream. And another really cool serum for anti-aging is the lifting serum. Do you have that? I do. That feels very different on the skin. It feels thicker. It has like a yes. coating when you put it on. Yes. It's like a coating. So that is the last step in your routine. You put this on after your moisturizer. You put that on and it creates like a matrix. It's a biopolymer matrix, which gives you this lifting effect, but also has ingredients to fill in finance and wrinkles. So that Can is you something- wear it with makeup or is it better at night? Yeah, under makeup. Under it's makeup. Under makeup. And then you put makeup on top. But this okay. is also a great product for men um, because I, I love, it gives like this freshness uh, to the men's skin and the glow. Yeah. I think it's fantastic on guys. Amazing. I'll have yeah. To the hubby. <laughs> yeah. Also a really good um, product to, to take when, when, you know, when we're asking for firm hydrated skin is the, the skin food. Mm, the skin yeah. food really helps to firm the skin. It's everything from telomerase activating, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, hydrating from the inside. It's a very, um, a really cool supplement, which is, you know, additive to whatever you're taking on vitamins so it's more really designed for you know all the specialties cutting edge um science yeah so the last time i got a facial um at one of your locations they were telling me because it was right before i was about to travel and they were telling me that you can put your um, mask on before you go on a plane or before you travel or even before you go to bed and i didn't realize that i thought it was just something that you put on and then took off take off so what, what are the benefits of leaving it on longer term? So with the mask, you can do it totally different ways. Number one, um, you just put it on, leave it on 20 minutes and you take it off with a warm washcloth. Um, what I love to do, I put it on, I leave it on until it's really dried into the skin and then I rub it off. Oh. I just peel it off. which With your fingers? Hands, with your fingers. So you do a massage, you do an exfoliation, you do like this um, beautiful polishing of your skin. You get like the most amazing glow, which I love. And for night, and you can do it as many times as you want. You can do it twice a day if you want. It's really healing and repairing. It's nothing and hydrating and soothing. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and for the nighttime, what you can do is you um, 
do your normal skincare routine. And then the last step, you put your face mask and I like to mix it with my night serum. Mm -hmm. And then I put it on and I leave it on overnight. And the results when you wake up, they're amazing. I mean, wow. I want you to try it because- you really I'm gonna do it tonight. Tips. Yes, you do it tonight. It's amazing. Another tip I wanna give to everyone, um, when we use our skincare um, routine, don't just only do your face, do your neck, do your decollete, do your hands, use all the ingredients on all these parts um, of your body, just because um, these are like the weak parts, you know, we suffer later on, but it's good to treat it um, the same time like you treat your, your face. For people that are younger and not so worried, like I am about anti-aging, what would you say is like a really good entry product for people that might not also not have the skin issues, have the fine lines yet, but also maybe not have the financial kind of resources yes. to invest in a larger way? I would recommend the anti-pollution drops and the um, face cream. If you have these two products, because you get the hyaluronic serum, um, you know, underneath, but same time, the protection from your phone lights, from pollution. It's a mm. really great product to also lock in hydration. And then um, our face cream, you're already good. And maybe then, you know, add a cleanser or scrub, you know, and just like do that really minimal routine. That's all you need really. Um, and start, start like very minimal. And, you know, up to today, I'm not using 10,000 products. Mostly I use my my super anti-aging serum, my face cream, yeah? yeah? And then sometimes, you know, depending on how my skin feels, I need a little more of this. Or before a Zoom call, I put my glow drops on, you know? It's just like, it's not, it doesn't have to be like a 10-step routine every day, you know? Important is the hyaluronic serum or like any hyaluronic serum based of my serums, if it's the anti-pollution drop, the night serum, the super anti-aging serum, those serums really help to, keep your skin barrier function working, you know, and help to, to get fully hydration throughout all skin layers. Mm. So right before we came on, we were talking about the glow drops and I, for some reason, I don't use them as much as I did when I first started using your products. What exactly do they do? Like, how are they making you glow? <laughs> yeah, first of all, that is a, you know, especially I never wear, wear makeup. I use those in between for instant hydration um, and good feeling. So it just gives me like a pick me up, but it also gives you like this instant glow. And lots of people like to mix it with their makeup, you know, or you put it on top of makeup or you uh, refresh your makeup or you just use it on your naked skin. You can do all kinds of things, you know? Amazing. Okay. Putting it back into my routine. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Our glow drops are amazing, especially now we are on all these Zoom calls and just like, and ready and um and go amazing well what else shall we talk about yeah what else should we talk about um good question what's your what, how do you unwind how do you how do you have your anti-inflammatory moments well i i like to wake up early i always get eight hours of sleep i'm actually a monster if i don't get eight hours of sleep. yeah you know i do feel like i'm I'm not kind to myself. I feel really puffy. I get very irritable. So I'm like a stickler for sleep, but I do like to wake up before the rest of my family and just really carve out time for myself. And that could be anything from like reading a poetry book or meditating or lighting a candle and putting on soft music. But I, before I kind of dive into my day, that's like super important. So there's that. Um, and I've been really... Um, just knowing the chaos, like I do so many things from like just my design work and being in the kitchen and there's just, my day can be very erratic, but I've been carving out time to step away mostly with my puppy and like take a walk and not take my phone. So I, I do try to do that. Um, and I'm trying to think what else, I mean, cooking for me is very meditative. Like I put music on, like there's just something about kind of going through the motions of kind of chopping and being creative. And that feels like whenever I'm feeling depleted. That's meditative, no? Yeah. Cooking, it's so great, I love that. What is your favorite dish to make? So what is your family favorite? What do you have to do all the time? 
Um, you know, it's interesting. If I had to answer that question just for myself, it would probably be different than when I'm cooking for my family because my husband and son, but mostly my son, definitely tend to like like bigger, heavier meals than I like. Like if it were yeah. me, I would just make like very citrusy and herby fish, you know, something like in parchment paper with herbs and light veggies. Sounds amazing. Yeah. But um, my son definitely likes, you know, a roasted chicken or a pasta. And yeah, makes I, sense. Um, truthfully, I eat, I eat carbs. I eat, I do love pasta, but I think that everything's in moderation. I'm always cooking seasonally. I'm always putting, you know, fresh, vibrant flavors. Like my son loves a carbonara. Obviously that's heavy. Oh, I make the best vegan carbonara. No, no joke. No joke, I have to film it. It's so yummy. And I use Sicilian dessert wine, which is, I mean, that is the key. Wow. It's the, the key. I, I will share my recipe with so, and a lot of lemon. It's so well, that's what I was going to say. I add lemon to my carbonara to give yes. it that brightness. So yeah. I don't know. I think everything in life is about balance, whether it's like flavors, whether it's working out, whether it's, you know, workload. I mean, everything is like a, a give and pull, you know, so everything feels like it needs to always be in balance. And sometimes I'm good at it. And sometimes I'm not good at it. But you know, I think I'm always cognizant of it and just trying to eat healthy, but also indulge a little bit. <laughs> I think that that's what that's what we're all doing. I think if you have like a, like a base understanding from what it is we should be eating, and then you do all the things on the side, I think we're good. We don't have to get stressed about it because, you know, some some people also like them to becoming obsessive about this stuff. And I think that is also already causing stress and, and, and anxiety, which we cannot, you know, we shouldn't have. So I think it really is everything in moderation. It's true. I It's interesting about, I guess like two and a half or three years ago, I felt like I was very imbalanced. Like I wasn't really working out a lot. Um, I felt like I was having like candida and yeast issue. Like there was just stuff going on in my body that was coming out in different ways. And it was very apparent to me that I needed to make a significant change. And at that you know, point, people, especially women have candida and they don't know about it. It's, it's a very gray zone. We're looking into this topic a lot because it's so interesting. And we bring out some, some products for that as well, just because it's so, so under discussed and, and, and under under seen, you know it's confusing about how to figure out how to remedy it too because I know it's based in in sugar and alcohol um and really what you put into your diet but that was the only time that I went very extreme I cut out all sugar I cut out dairy I cut out um alcohol and I started really working out quite regularly and um, it didn't stay that long. It's not like I did that for like four months. I wasn't like so rigid about it, but I did feel like my body needed a reset. And then I slowly yeah. started reintroducing things, but I definitely don't kind of live my life in a polarizing way. Um, but I do feel like I'm back at that point that I might maybe need another one of those resets because I've been having some like tummy issues and some skin issues. So, but I think we need to learn what it is, what are the underlying problems, you know, and we have to look and if we have constant um, stomach and gut issues, there's an underlying problem. We have to understand what it is, whether it's like food allergies or histamine intolerance, gluten intolerance, lactose intolerance, you know, and we can, <laughs> find that out, you know, by, by doing a lab panel, but we also can find it out by just like, you know, trying certain, certain diets and, and seeing what's best, best for our, our, our gut and our, our system. But, you know, I think also the way we eat, you know, sometimes it's like we stand up, we eat, we like fast, 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 mm -hmm. and then we have a coffee and a salad at the same time. And that's not a good combination. Um, yeah. So we also should really think, how do we eat? You know, we should take our time, should not drink water 20 minutes before your meals and one hour after your meals because we need to digest our enzymes shouldn't be watered down. They should be really strong and, 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 and concentrated and working and same time, like, you know, it, our digestion starts in our mouth. So chewing, 
and really starting um, the, 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 the digestion right there is um, really important too. And even if we drink smoothies, and I know it's like, it seems like an easy way to get some vitamins done, you go to a juice yeah. bar, you get a juice, da, 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 da. Um, and, you know, it's really important to almost spoon our smoothies, you know, spoon yeah. our juices, because there's so many ingredients in there, which also need to be digested, even if it's, you know, juiced yeah. or mixed or whatever, it's like still, it's still like the same, same if you have to chew uh, broccoli, you know, it's like same with the juice, it needs to be digested. And I think yeah. that is something which we, we have to learn and have to really pay attention to because everything which gets stuck in our stomach and is hard to digest causes acidity and this causes inflammation. And then we have all kinds of problems with our gut and, you know. I'm definitely guilty of hmm? I, I eat, I'm guilty of like always eating really fast. No hurry. Yeah, I'm like on the go. And I mean, always, I'm always finished with my meal before my husband and son. And I just feel, I like my food hot. So I like to eat it really fast. But also like yesterday I was like shooting something. So I was on set for 12 hours and I wasn't eating a lot. And then I had dinner and it was pasta and I just like ate it so fast. And then I felt it in my stomach, but. And then you I, go to bed and then it's just sitting there and your your system is busy with digestion where it should be busy with, you know, with with you know the rejuvenation process and, and repair process and that's why sometimes it's good to to cancel your dinner and do like intermittent fasting maybe two days a week you know and just really give your body the time to repair and heal mm -hmm. and that is something you know to look into it as well and maybe make sure when you have this shoot you know take some 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 valuable food with you and just don't get to the point where you then have to you know, know have it all at once and then you're, you're feeling bad <laughs> yeah it's yeah. hard it is hard, hard. <laughs> especially as a working working mom and it's hard to get everything under control and really take care of yourself i think taking care of ourselves is really important so we can take of everything else our job our children our husbands you know everything going on um, we need to make sure we take care of ourselves first. So true. How are your kids? They're good. They're good. I mean, it's, it's, it's still COVID. I know. <laughs> um, Zoom, Zoom called Zoom school, but um, Pepper starts going back to school. And um, yeah, but everything our kids wanted to do, you know, it's like a weird time for them. They, uh, they don't get it. They don't have the social contacts. It's, they should have you know their sports team sports all of this is, it's just like tough but you know we make the best out of it always yeah of course of course of course Should we dive some people in yeah so first up i think we have flora flora do you want to unmute yourself hi flora hi hi flora. hi so How nice to you? meet you <laughs> nice to meet you Thanks where are you great talk <laughs> Um, so my question is, um, and this is what something that I've experienced myself recently, and I'm early 30s, that my skin suddenly completely changed, uh, acne, blemishes, complete texture of skin. And I just wanted to ask how I can basically handle this, how long it would usually take to overcome it and how much I can impact as well, have an impact with my diet, although it's already quite, I think, quite healthy. So... Did you change anything? Like, did you stop the, the contraception pill? Did you change anything? No, no, the only thing I did change um, is, and I've now changed to your line already, is that I did change suddenly all my skincare into something more uh, organic and healthy. Yeah. Um, because I just didn't want to, you know, use all the chemicals and silicones and whatsoever. So this is something that I changed. Of course, you know, with everything happening, there is a certain element of stress as well. And so I just wondered on how long it usually takes to regenerate and what you would suggest on- Do you use do any it. essential oils in your skincare routine? Pardon? When you say organic, do you use essential yes, oils? Was with oil. It was not oils, but I think there were a lot of, um, you know, essences in terms of, um, yeah, in there. So I'm not sure if this is one of the reasons. But it would yeah, go away something. a little bit from organic, the, you know, it not, you know, especially when you have sensitive skin, it's really hard on the skin because they use a lot of essential oils. 
and you know the ingredients in organic skincare products are not synthesized in a lab what they should be because yeah. you know they still can carry viruses they still can carry um, all kinds of problems they're not very efficient usually because in the lab you make them efficient and they're not very reliable in concentration but essential oils can be very very harsh on your skin yeah so which also oils can cause breakouts if it's not really made for your skin so um if you didn't change anything with hormones obviously you know there can be a natural hormonal change you know when you hit 30s i had experienced this for myself as well um so you know it would be very helpful to do a hormone panel with your doctor and find out what the situation is if you might have too much testosterone that mm. normally can cause like blemishes and breakouts um, your diet should not have dairy and processed meat in it, chicken, no chicken, yeah, because it's full of hormones and antibiotics, so would stay away from that. Sugars, obviously, you can yeah. try that, and then use a, I would rather use like a very limited skincare routine if it's just a hyaluronic serum, a face cream, you know, could be like our cleanser, hyaluronic serum, face cream, and maybe twice a week the enzyme cleanser. I already Good. use that, so I'm already using Perfect. the enzyme cleanser and the cleanser, and I'm also, I mean, you know it, you know Viva Maya, I'm based in Austria, so I'm already yeah. been doing for years the basin pulver, the alkalizing powder. Yeah, 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 it's very so good. So that. they are so good with the diet, it's, you know? It's amazing, but this is why I've been so baffled why suddenly my skin changed so much when I basically, I don't drink a lot of alcohol, I don't smoke, so when you already do so much, yes. you know, and you believe in so these you're things. So you're good with your you diet, so I'm sure. Yeah, you're good with your diet. You know what to do. You know the Viva Maya thing. So that's really important. So keep your skincare routine super simple. Yeah, and try to cut away from everything. Really only use the cleanser, enzyme cleanser twice a week, the hyaluronic yeah. serum and the face cream. Yeah. Um, and do you have the spot treatment for the spots? I've got the spot treatment as well. So I use that as much as I can. I don't want to overdo it, but I use it as well. And it's been really great yeah. for all the inflammation so it already reduced the inflammation but at this point it's to be honest a bit frustrating because you want to read you know but i yes. think it just takes time you yes know, so keep just... keep it narrow with your skincare yeah let's only use that and let's cut everything else out and then um let's do another call in two three weeks uh, my team will schedule it with you yeah and see how you're going how it's going Great. yes thank we will figure so it out much. we will get it back on track amazing thank you so much <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> You're so. Athena, Viva Maya. Have you heard of Viva Maya? No, I is. wanted to ask what Viva Maya was. That is um, a clinic in Austria, and it's really amazing because um, they, they they teach you, you know, how to chew, how, what to eat, you know, how to get your system away from inflammation and acidity, and um, it's a great pro program, not just with food and diet, but also with mental health and you know, everything to preserve your, 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 your system and your health. It's mm. really great. It's in a beautiful lake in, in Austria. And it's really, if anybody wants to go, we can connect you with Viva Maya and you definitely should go. Um, it helped me so much because I have a stress gastritis, you know, I have no real underlying problem, but you know, as soon as I get too stressed and then have maybe coffee or something, really doesn't agree so I have to be really careful with what I eat and so they really fixed it for me which is was great I'm gonna look into it that yeah sounds good. awesome <laughs> next one so next I think we have Lisa hi Lisa hi Lisa hello ladies oops sorry. hi sorry oh and I even have my oh that was funny <laughs> it was very magical how you appeared in that oh screen. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, well, let's do it now. Here, we'll just try <laughs> Oh, I love that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. It's my honor um, to be able to ask. Uh, I have two questions if we have time, but um, I'll start with the most burning one. First of all, um, thank you for this opportunity yeah. to be part of this wonderful educational experience. And um, Dr. Sturm, I just learned about you within the last month. So, and how that came about is I was in desperate need of a new eye cream and our blue mercury. I have a great relationship with the woman who gave me a sample. I love this eye cream so much and they it's didn't so have good. It. 
at my local one that I'm, you know, I prick, I prick the, sa the, the sample with a pin and do alcohol to keep it sterile. I squeezed every ounce until I could get to my other. I know, it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, so you now I'm like. Share the singer. She said it's the best product she ever used on her entire skin and her entire life. I and agree. You know, yeah, it's so good. And she has access to just about I know. everything. Right? I know. She's obsessed with that one. Right. And Athena, you make me laugh because you're so beautiful. And you're like, I really don't want to do a lot with skincare. I am a skincare junkie. So I'm not to you. But okay, the question, sorry. Um, I, in all the skincare I use, I have yet to start using an antioxidant because I hear so much about vitamin C, E ferulic is the best, vitamin C, it can become so unstable. So if you could please help me. That's a good one. Confidence, if I spend the money, yes. how long do I have to use it? That type of thing. You know what? It's a very good question. I love to talk about it. And I see that this is something we haven't talked about yet, the good seed. That is yeah. an example for a very great anti-aging tool and not just anti-aging, also prevention and helping to um, you know, rebuild collagen and catching free radicals. So it's a very good point. Also talking about antioxidants, which are important to catch free radicals. Um, so vitamin C, um, normally, you know, lots of people think a lot, you know, helps a lot. That's not always the case, you know, a lot sometimes can damage a lot. So vitamin C in a higher concentration at 5% damages your skin barrier function, which we don't want to. We want to keep the skin barrier and our skin um, healthy and straight. That's why lots of people with sensitive skin cannot use vitamin C because it hurts, makes your skin sensitive and dry. So our C, that's why I formulated C because there was not a good C in the market. And the good C basically has three forms of vitamin C, which are stable, number one. Number two, they don't bombard the surface. They actually penetrate into the skin first before they release the functions. You know, it's one which comes from the kakadu plum in, from Australia, which is 50% higher concentrated in vitamin C than an orange. The second one is an, 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 an oil encapsulated vitamin C, which gets transported into the skin and then releases the function. Then the serum has like aloe vera, zinc, vitamin E, beautiful sunflower extract, um, extract oil, beautiful ingredients, especially also to take care of your skin and soothe irritated skin. So this vitamin C serum gives you all the benefits of the C, but none of the bad things a C could cause because it's not like, you know, when we, you know, we can do 2000 milligram of vitamin C every day in our system, no problem. But if we would use that on our skin, it would cause a big problem. So the way we put it on our skin really matters. And that is a beautiful um, serum um, for especially also sensitive skin. And I couldn't, use, I, I couldn't use it, this is how it looks. And then you just put it on your skin and it just gives you an amazing hydration. How often do you use it, Barbara? Every day. Yeah, use it every day. You don't have that yet, no? Okay. You? No, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Always on, on the hands. So that's a really yeah. good one. Yeah. And so the good C, get the good C, Lisa. I will. And AM, but I've also heard you can use and should maybe use antioxidant at night once or twice a day, please. You know what? Antioxidants are always good. You know, obviously at night, um, you have, you're going in your repair mode and healing mode. So especially at night, you want to add antioxidants and um, repairing ingredients. We have um, the night serum with our cotton thistle extract, which helps to rebuild collagen. Um, you know, um, Senna Elata extract helps to repair UV damage from the day. Um, it strengthens your skin barrier function. It hydrates. It fills in fine lines and wrinkles. Um, so the night serum for nighttime use, I would recommend for you also to get enough anti-inflammation, antioxidants, hydration, strengthening your skin. That is a really good one to use at night before your moisturizer. And Lisa, I also want you to have the super anti-aging cream. I don't know if they launched it in the Mercury, but um, we, we just launched the super anti-aging cream. I'm sure they have it. It's an amazing, get a sample of it. It's okay. I mean, it's the best thing I've ever, ever, ever brought out. I really, I'm obsessed with that cream. And it's a super 360 um, anti-aging 
um, skincare tool. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm in San Francisco. So LA is the closest spa, correct? I believe. Yeah, for now, LA is the closest spa. Um, we go. just also opened it up for facials again, which I'm very happy about. We also have a spa in New York. So everyone who wants to schedule a facial, you do la at drsturm.com or nyc at drsturm.com or london at drsturm.com to or you look on our website drsturm.com to schedule an appointment um i'm trying to open more for you guys but step by step by step thank by you step. <laughs> what a pleasure thank you so much <laughs> so nice to meet you nice to meet you <laughs> next one so next up, we've got Zainab. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. It's very nice to meet you and know all about all these. I've recently um, read about your brand. And um, can you hear me well? Yes, it's a little, um, a little um, rough, but I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you. Can you hear us? Okay, I apologize. I believe it's about my internet. Yes, I can hear you. Good. Oh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> um, okay. Um, hi, nice meeting you. I hope that um, I'm really glad to meet you. I hope that you heard um, I said it previously, but um, um, I wanted to ask you about um, what skincare routine changes do you recommend after turning to 25? Um, I recently turned to 25 and I can notice this fine line here and I just realized maybe it is time to change my routine a little bit and I wanted to ask what you would recommend as a must. Um, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a hyaluronic serum already? Do you have like the super anti-aging or hyaluronic serum, any of those? Um, I do not have it, no. So you can you can um, start with the hyaluronic serum. That's a good one because that gives you like instant superficial, but also deep hydration, which is important to prevent from aging, but also for your cells to take on active ingredients and, you know, bringing active ingredients into deeper skin layers. So that is something you should really, really incorporate into your skincare routine. A good moisturizer. Do you have a good okay. moisturizer? So if it's only... I would want to recommend you our um, moisturizer. So if you have oh, your yes, hyaluronic yes. serum and the moisturizer, our face cream, that would be a really great routine for 25. Obviously you can then add your night serum at night. You can use all those serums because they are healing and repairing. They don't damage your skin. They're preventative. They're anti-inflammatory. Telomere is activating. They're very good for your skin and for your system at all you really do it the best prevention and and taking care of your skin and your skin functions as well but if you want to choose two products okay. i would do the hyaluronic so serum you do the face cream. okay okay so uh yeah so i wanted to just ask if you recommend a serum as a must but uh, yeah i guess the answer yes okay Absolutely. um thank you yeah so okay. 25 hyaluronic serum and the face cream and then that's perfect. Okay, up until thirty, we, you would you say? <laughs> then we can then we can add some some you know then you can maybe switch from the hyaluronic serum to the super anti aging serum you know. You, okay. All our anti aging tools they're not damaging your skin so you can you can use them you know there's nothing you know and aging starts in puberty you know when our thymus um, you know um, activity goes down it's already starting we don't necessarily see it um see it right away but you know we can always prevent and help okay thank you very much so nice to meet you nice to meet you yeah nice to meet you too yeah nice to meet you both of you <clears throat> okay next we've got tracy hey tracy athena hello. also hello. with hello Hi, i'm trying tracy. to start my video here Hi, tracy <laughs> hello Oh, okay. It says my video cannot. Uh, okay. Now she wants me to start it. Here we Good. go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, Dr. Sturm and Athena, thank you so much for this session. I really appreciate it. And I am actually new to your products. I've been using 
um, your cleanser for darker skin and your face cream for darker skin now for I'd say about, about five to six weeks. And I really, really love them. And I was just wondering if you could speak more to the special issues of darker skin and how your products address them. And also my second question is for my next purchase, um, if I buy only one thing, either from your darker skin line or your general line, what would you recommend that it be for me? Great questions. And thank you for trying the products. Thank you for loving them. It makes me very, very happy. So um, like six years ago, um, Angela Bassett started using my products and she said, oh my God, my skin changed, it's amazing. And so we were talking because I said, you know, your skin always has been amazing. And she said, no, 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 you don't understand. And also our skin has way different needs. So I started looking into it and did some research and um, I found out that, um, you know, the inflammation cascade in darker skin or melanin rich skin. So it's all about the melanin melanin sites and the melanin. Um, causes a higher inflammation cascade than in any other skin type, yeah? So an inflam I'm an anti-inflammatory doctor, so I've always been um, interested in that. So inflammation is higher. And if you have a breakout, it's not just, the inflammation is not just where the breakout is, it's everywhere. And then what it causes is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So you probably remember if you popped a pimple, you get like a dark spot there, yeah? That's because of this reaction. Um, and so I created this line. It's basically like our baseline, but it's extra anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. And I added ingredients to even out the skin tone. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so good. And um, Angela helped me to formulate the consistency of the base cream because it's it's also different. You know, the oiliness is different. The thickness of the skin is different. So that's why the products are so great because they're really tested by, you know, melanin rich skin. So I think it really, it really works. We have a really great success with those. You know, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are talking about it because I think it needs to be spread more because they're, they're wonderful, very catered to melanin rich skin. And it doesn't mean only melanin rich skin should use it. Everybody with hyperpigmentation, everybody with breakouts, everybody who wants to even out the skin tone. I mean, it's not, not just like Oh, it's darker skin tone, so only darker skin tone. It's for everybody. So I use the darker skin tone line because I love it because it's a little more active for me, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and what the second one the second question? Um, what should my next purchase be to comp complement my serum. Hyaluronic serum or super mm -hmm. anti-aging serum, one of the two. Okay, and is that for specifically for darker skin or for the general? You have a hyaluronic serum for darker skin, but you can also use the super anti-aging serum I mean, you, you mix, you can use the eye cream, you mix, it's not just like, you know, this is just an additional um, little collection um, for melanin skin, but you use everything you, you, you can from, from the line, you know, you mix, mix it all together if you need an eye cream, if you need, um, because that doesn't really need the specialty. It's like, I wanted to have a moisturizer and a hyaluronic and a cleanser and an enzyme cleanser, but then the rest, you know, everybody uses the same. Okay, thank you. So nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Your brain is unbelievable, Barbara. You have so much information. It's amazing how much it's I like, learned from you. It's like, you know, you become, you become so passionate about it and you want to make something for everybody. So, and they're, they're men, they're kids, they're different climates, they're different skin tones, they're different this, it's like, Okay, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. More, mm -hmm. more acne, pigmentation. I have a solution for everybody. And that's, you know, I'm a medical doctor. I started, you know, as an orthopedic, then I was injecting um, Botox fillers, then I started doing the vampire face, and then I did the, the, the MC1 cream. And then I got asked more and more and more about, you know, what do I do if I have this? What product should I use? And, then, you know, I don't want to just recommend any products which are on the market, I want to recommend what is really done with love and passion by me and research and science, you know? So that's why I did like this full spectrum of products. And when you just said, you know, um, I remember you said, you know, sagginess and stuff. You know, I also like to take care of all skin layers and skin levels. And, you know, I started with injecting in wrinkles, you know, and when I started, people would inject into wrinkles. I started then sculpturing the faces. I went and told totally different level but I always thought you know 
we can help to lift the face with fillers and Botox, but we also, you know, it's not just about that. It's also how your skin radiates. And mm. maybe if we have a glowy, healthy, radiated skin, we don't really worry about every little wrinkle and we can just relax about it and just do a little here and there, but don't go crazy. And I, I, I totally found that to, to work out and be true that, you know, that we're, if we feel good in our skin, it doesn't matter you know, oh, I have a little wrinkly. I, I, I'm not so yeah. anal about this stuff anymore. I'm really yeah. relaxed. Same. No? Same. I, I haven't quite figured out what my approach is going to be as I continue to age. I think like at my core, I want to like borrow that belief of Audrey Hepburn and embrace my wrinkles, but maybe not to that extent. So maybe, maybe we do like a compromise, you know, yes. maybe we do like something in between a little bit of this, a little bit of this, but not, not going crazy. Yeah, I think that that sounds like a good plan. Everything in balance, right? <laughs> exactly. I agree. So I, I think it's also important. We want to look natural. We want to look, you know, approachable and real, you know? Yeah. I've always been scared of doing too much because I already have very strong features and I don't want it to be like, ooh, what'd she do to her face, you know? Only me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I'm ready. You got me. <laughs> Okay, so I think we have time for one more question. We should have Alexandra on the line. Hi, Alexandra. Hi. 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 Thank you so much for the session. It's been really great. Um, so my question actually relates. So I haven't used a lot of skincare products in my past and I don't really use foundation and, and makeup. I only use like mascara. And last year I started getting breakouts kind of this area and here quite a lot. And it's just getting worse and worse. And I've, I've tried the spot treatment. I've tried like different products to see if it's maybe exfoliation. If it's pollution. I live in London. Um, I'm, I'm just um, over my, in my thirties, early thirties. Um, and I'm just wondering, what would you recommend when it comes to spots? Um, is it normally hormonal or, um, because they're quite painful and red. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it could be cystic acne. Where are you located right now in London? Uh, I, I'm in, uh, in south of London. South of London. So we just opened our London spa. I saw that. So you need to schedule an appointment. First of all, it's good to check really closely your skin. It's good to be cleaned out. You cannot do this yourself because it's very um, sensitive. You don't want to cause any disruption. You would want to be really, really careful because... You don't want to, you know, run the risk of scarring. Since when do you have that? Since when? It's been almost a year now. That's, you see, that's not good either. We need to get this under control. Um, also, you know, we think always when we have breakouts, oh, we need to dry out our skin. We need to resurface. We need to scrub it all off. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong approach. Please don't do that. Yeah. Be good to your skin. Always hydrate your skin. Never resurface your skin. Don't do resurfacing products. That's the wrong approach because you peel your healthy skin layers off. If we think about our skin as an organ, we need to respect it same like we respect our kidney or our heart. We would never put this stuff on, 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 on those organs. So let's not um, really compromise our skin. Yeah. So go the different approach. Hydrate and heal and repair, yeah? So I created the, the clarifying line for, um, you know, women, people like you who experience like little breakouts. And also regardless, if you would get from your dermatologist a treatment, you always need to take care of your skin first. So you do your skincare routine. Um, and I give you a quick um, routine you can use, the cleanser, and you could use the cleanser for darker skin tone line because it's antibacterial, which is nice. Darker skin tone cleanser, darker skin tone enzyme cleanser. Then you would go for the clarifying serum, which is a hyaluronic acid based serum, but it soothes and it's nice. You know, you would think, oh, clarifying, probably super aggressive. No, it's hydrating. And I put ingredients in to soothe irritated skin. Yeah, same time, like it heals up your spot. So clarifying serum, and then you use the clarifying face cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so twice a week, I would um, use the clarifying face mask and then the spot treatment you already have. Yeah. Um, always take care of your skin. Even you go to a dermatologist more and he says, oh, you use this ointment or whatever. Do your skincare routine first and then use it. It's very mm -hmm. important to respect your skin first. Yeah. And um, yeah, come to our spa. Let's check um, on, on you. Also, I, if you see your 
your functional doctor, you can do a, a lab panel and um, check your hormones, check your diet, look into your diet. Mm -hmm. What is your diet like? Cut out dairy, processed meat, sugars for now, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. And go on a plant-based anti-inflammatory diet. Um, see if maybe you're stressed right now, maybe you use the facial masks, mm -hmm. which disrupts, you know, there, if you get the very guts from, from, from the facial mask, it's good to, to, to keep your skin clean, not to wear makeup, um, keep your skin hydrated, use the hydrating face mist or a calming serum underneath to, to avoid disruption of your skin barrier and then bacteria come in. Because if you breathe into this mask, it's warm and humid and it's the perfect um, element to have bacteria grow. And then we have the bacteria in the mask and they go into your pores and everything. It's like not, not a really great environment. So keep your skin clean, try to um, keep it hydrated and moist and use calming serum to, to, to reduce friction on your skin. Um, but in general, also we created a mask, like a nano silver face, facial masks, you yeah. know, which is so soft on our, I, I can't even use anything else, you know, it's like, uh, because it's so aggressive on our skin. Um, yeah, but come to the spa, come and visit us and um, we will check on you and take care of your skin. We are happy to do that. Great, I will do that. Thank you so much for your help. So nice to meet you, Alexandra. Nice to meet you. See you soon. <laughs> Athena, it was a pleasure again, like always. I always it love talking to you. It was. I love learning from you, Barbara. And I'm so grateful to know you and hopefully get to see you soon. Yes, I will come to New York soon, I promise. I miss New York so much. Yes. We yes. Yes. We all we all get together soon. Well, thank you. Thank you for the products that you create and for my tried and true skin. <laughs> I, I dedicate it to you. Or <laughs> yes, I thank you for that. that. Thank you for trusting me with your skin. Yes. I love you very much. I love you too. Thank you, Barbara. Enjoy your day. Big kiss. Bye, Bye everybody. Stay good to your skin. Love your skin. Love yourself. And we love you. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>